Welcome to Stick Shift Hot Wheels. Today I'm doing a review of the 2019 Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner, the Nash Hole. I will be reviewing all three of its current color variations. Hot Wheels is calling it the Nash, but the car's designers, Greg Salazo and Dave Ford, have affectionately named the car the Nash Hole, which I think is incredibly interesting. I find it funny that obviously Hot Wheels has to change the name because otherwise you're going to have a crude name on a $1 kid's toy. This car is actually based on a real vehicle, which is really cool. Greg and Dave said that the entire build cost them less than $10,000, which I think is incredible seeing that it includes a 300 horsepower Ford V8 engine. So they must have found the car uh, in a scrapyard or something, very cheap. The vehicle's proportions have been dramatically changed, but the biggest transformation is the car's 300 horsepower 5.0 liter V8, which is seven times the power output of the stock Nash Metropolitan. A stock Nash Metropolitan weighs 1,785 pounds. The Nash's 1.2 liter four cylinder produced a blistering 42 horsepower that resulted in a lightning fast 0 to 60 time of 22 seconds. The car on the left is the first edition. The other two cars are the 2022 recolors. The lavender car came in the B case and the silver car came in the E case. And I was lucky enough to find both of these cars on the pegs at the same time at the same store. So very cool and these are the three releases so far they definitely look really nice together and i'm really liking this lavender one i think it has some nice pearl tones to it so it'll be great to get the car out of the package and to get it free but here's the packaging design for the first edition it has legends tour on the top it's part of the Hot Wheels Dream Garage. It's pretty cool. Time to crack these two cars open. First up, it's the Lavender Variation. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, cuts like butter, baby. All right, the moment of truth. Oh yeah, that's a definitely a unique color. Very cool, awesome little car, great choice of colors, and you gotta love that card art. How awesome is that? Last but not least, the silver variation. Here we go, baby. Oh yeah, wow, totally different look in black. I'm gonna get the cars up on the turntable. We can get them in some nice light and we'll see how they look. So here's the 2021 Nash Hole First Edition. The middle portion of the car is painted turquoise and it features a white roof. And the, the middle portion of the car is painted turquoise and it features a white roof in a white base and there's tampos of rust on the turquoise portion of the car and has a chrome engine, chrome interior, smoke tinted windows and these very unique wheels that sit outside of the fenders completely which is very cool. The Nash Metropolitan was an Anglo-American subcompact two-seat automobile produced by Austin in the United Kingdom and marketed by Nash, Hudson, and AMC in the United States from 1953 to 1961. The car was designed by William Flagell as an economical transportation alternative during a time when most automobile, during a time when most automakers were sticking to bigger is better philosophy. Even back then the car was variously 
categorized as either an economy car or a subcompact vehicle. This casting replicates a highly customized Nash Metropolitan done by Greg Salzio and David Ford named the Nash Hole as references to that name are removed on this model, likely due to the name sounding like a rather crude expression. The Nash Hole was the winner of the 2019 Hot Wheels Legends Tour. This car is part of the Hot Wheels Dream Garage and it is car number one out of 250 models for 2021. The second release of the Nash Hole for 2022 is this lavender version. It is part of the Compact Kings series. It features a white roof, a white plastic base, and a lavender midsection and it appears to be a lavender pearl color. It's almost like a lavender gray color. It seems to shift colors and hues as the car moves around the turntable and the light. It is a very hard car to get a grasp on what color it actually is, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it definitely has that 50s vibe. Excellent paint choice from Hot Wheels on this model. I think of the three, it's the best looking one, personally. And I hope that they do more variations of this car with more 50s colors. A light pink would be amazing in pearl. A light, light yellow would be awesome. Any pastel color I think would look really cool on this car, so I'm looking forward to that, hopefully. This car looks absolutely amazing. This, this car was in the B case for 2022, and in the E case, we got the silver version. And what's really cool about this car is that it has a black roof and a black base, so it's like a juxtaposition of the tones of the car and the colors of the car. And it definitely has a more badass look to it with these um, color schemes. It has a red tampo stripe, which gives it a little bit of flair. And overall, the details of this casting are very well done. I especially like the ribs on the upper section of the door that's indented there. And they look amazing on this pearl, purple, lavender car. And it just looks really cool. Uh, it's just great details. And, you know, hats off for the customizers of this car to take an iconic car that you don't see very much and just totally run hog wild with it and they created this amazing car and it's, it's absolutely awesome it's very very cool and uh, i think this car is probably going to be underappreciated by most because a most people don't even know what a nash metropolitan is i've seen a couple of the real cars at car shows and they are very quirky cars um, the stance of the regular vehicle is very high up so they have a little bit of a dorky look to them, but this Nash hole with the slammed rat rod stance definitely gives it that bad to the bone look. When the car is this small, you can get three of them on the turntable, which is fantastic. So you can see them all at the same time and see how the colors interact with one another. It's just a fantastic casting and I think it's really cool because it's a car that when you look at it, you think it's a fantasy casting, but no, it was a brainchild of some crazy customizer. I mean, totally out of left field, this car, just totally out of the box, totally cool. I think it's a really cool, fun car. It's small and I don't know of any other cars that are real vehicles, but they have the wheels, you know, offset outside of the body like this. Very cool trio. If you liked this video on the Nash Hole, you may want to subscribe to my channel, Stick Shift Hot Wheels, where I have reviews on many Hot Wheels new models, RLC vehicles, and DIYs for customizing like wheel swaps and removing paint tampos. You may also like to watch some of these other related videos. I'll see you at the next one. Have a great day.